life in case oh, we find him. What? Is it his blood? Is it my blood? Are my feet bleeding through my shoes? That's it, your brain leaking out through your foot. Okay. I had a totally different plan for this video, but after having kind of a busy week, I have a feeling that none of y'all really want to watch a 10 or 15 minute video of me pointing out everything cool about the show, nor do I want to edit a video that long. So I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to talk about each of the characters of the main trio and some info about them. This isn't going to be a super deep dive. Go and watch another video if you want that. Anyway, let's get started. So there's a lot to like about Charles in Only Murders in the Building. He's shy, goofy, and considerably jaded about his life. He's the perfect depiction of a has-been actor who's been trying to find that spark again. It reminded me a lot of the Bojack Horseman archetype, only Charles doesn't talk about killing himself. Not to say he isn't sad, he's divorced with no biological children of his own, and in season one specifically, you can't help but feel like he's taking Mabel under his wing as a sort of father figure. Speaking of Mabel, boy is this a fascinating character. There's so much we still have yet to learn about her. You can tell that she cares about people, but in a very hard-shelled way, which signifies her past relationships and trauma. I really appreciate that there's a younger character in the trio that can bounce off of the disconnected older guys. Also, it makes it infinitely funnier in some cases that she's a young woman who's paired up with two elderly men. And finally, we get to perhaps my favorite character of the show, if not, then the character who has made me laugh the most. <laughs> Really? Do you not see this cult? Still, one thing is certain in this- So much of Oliver's charm lies in his comedic relief, and so much of his character development comes in his backstory. His strained relationship with his son and his financial trouble is touched on in the show, and it gives such an interesting and fresh dynamic between father and son. And to go off script just a little bit towards the end, I really just have to say how much this trio works in so many different ways. The way that Oliver, Charles, and Mabel all kind of bounce off each other. Uh, Oliver and Charles just kind of, you know, derping around with their audio recordings and stuff, and Oliver getting all like director on everybody. It's the whole show is just fantastic. So that's about all I have today. If you haven't watched this show yet, it's absolutely delightful. I recommend watching it this winter with hot chocolate. That's what I did last year, and it was definitely the way to go.